Oh, uh, there's so that that wall I ran into is shootable, apparently. Uh, I ran into one in the first area, actually, which is kind of weird because I didn't run into one there the last time I went here. Ow. Yeah, that just completely owned me. <laughs> Thankfully, I put a save point down, like, just before I walked through that door. So, yeah, let's try that again, with less failure this time, maybe. Disruption grenades? Sure, why not? Uh, well, that's bad. This is going to be painful. Or I'm doing it wrong. One of the two. Maybe both. Let's try it again. In a slightly different way this time. Okay, apparently you can fire guns underwater in this game. Good to know. Alright, where's your control brain thing? So I can kill it. Because screw those guys. Oh, there it is. Slap! There we go. Why does the psychic projection not disappear when you kill the brain? Oh, there's another one of those thingies I can shoot, which is apparently in here. Even though I don't actually know I'm supposed to be doing that yet. Uh, let's use some healing items. I have the thingy that increases healing effectiveness, and I'm going to just save over the in the body of the mini save. Because I don't see a reason to backtrack right now. Maybe I'm wrong, and maybe it'll be bad, but I have a save point just before entering the body of the mini. So I'm not too worried about it. This is an area that either I haven't been in, or it'll connect back around to where I have been. I don't know which. It's an adventure! You know. That's what you do in adventures. You go directions you haven't been before. Okay, it just loops back around. Uh, I do actually want a healing pack still. Because the healing packs are actually kind of nice. Oh, come on. For some reason, I can't jump or grab things from that position. Just that specific spot, I'm not allowed to jump or grab things from. Yeah, they do actually come out of that corpse. That's really lame. Because they haven't done that at all, any other place in the game, as far as I can recall. Why is there a thing on the outside of the ship? What is that thing? Not the, the worm eye tentacle, this thing over here. Who would put a, like, button on the outside of a spaceship? On a window on the outside of the space. I mean, it's not like that's the pod bay controls or something. That would actually make some sense, but what? I'm sorry, I know I, I probably come off like I'm nitpicking a lot. It's just kind of like I notice really strange things here and there as I play. And I'm here to talk about the things that I notice and what I see. Because that's how commentary works. Oh, come on. Another one. Quit it. Let me put the worm blood implant and clean up some of these worms for health. Because it's a cheap way to gain health. Worms come out of this guy when you search him, I guess. M.O. M.O. T.C. T.C. And some T.E. Yay! Okay. Now let's try hacking this thing again. Yeah, I have 300. I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna send some on like two of those. And screw the rest of this stuff, because nothing that you can have in you chest is likely to be better than two full heals. I'm sorry. I hate to ruin your dreams, but it's true. Uh, let me just equip the worm mind implant as well. I don't need the worm blood implant unless I'm actually doing healing from the worm things. There we go. Let's just get the heck out of there, because I don't care. Uh, I'm going to throw down a new save here. The fact that they just kind of took away... I'll put it down here. Took away the uh, ability to respawn just kind of irritates me. It's just like at random. Wow, you can't respawn! Ma -ha -ha. That'll totally make the game way harder. I have some kind of centralized control. To this end, I've gathered as many weapons as I could and stashed them in caches. One of the beasts discovered a cache and apparently mistook it for food. It simply brought it into the crunching room. Research software I don't need. Let's just use the high sci hypo because I'm using the worm mind implant. So why not? Hey, I got it on the first try. I got any 63 nanites. That's a nice win for me. Some CS over there. Some more research items. I'm going to grab them just because, I don't know, why not? I've got plenty of inventory space. 
if I run out of inventory space, I'll start dropping the uh, research items, but I don't know what there is in here that I'll need to research, if anything, and I don't know what when I'm ever going to get more research items if I don't take them, so... Yeah, and I'm, there's no way I'm going to remember which passageway has which research items down them. That is not going to happen. Uh, there's a thing down there, which is where we went last time. Let's see what's over here. A big worm. Which we can shoot! Black goes the worm wall. That is a rumbler, which I do not like. But that's okay, it doesn't like me either, so... Ugh, those things take so much ammo! Yick. Yick. Um, well, I'm out of ammo for that now. I'm running out of ammo for everything. This is not good. I hear a robot. In the distance. A robot in the distance. That actually sounds like it would make, like, some kind of weird... I don't know, maybe a play? Haha! Oh. oh, these are the, like, the... Okay, those are, like, the lift things from Rickenbacker, or the... whatever. The ships that we were on, that we are no longer on. Okay, I guess this is where we're supposed to go once we've broken all of the nerve nodes. And I guess you're supposed to follow these blue things to find the nerve nodes. That makes sense, yeah. But these blue things are the nerve clusters that you mentioned following to find the nerve nodes. That says that there's probably not one in here, and that would be apparently be correct. <laughs> but I am curious as to what is in there, so I'm gonna go check it out. Ooh. Cyber modules and some standard ammo. I shot my assault rifle, which is good, because standard ammo is good for killing eggs. Because it does it quite efficiently, and I don't need it for killing anything else. Ugh, getting over worm parts is really a pain. Stupid worm parts. Grab you, and you. Wow, this is a lot of research parts. Which means that my inventory is probably going to end up full here in a moment. And a place to upgrade my cyber rig thing. Uh, yoink and yoink, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really sure what use there is in upgrading other things. Please make your selection. How is this thing still functioning? Did they seriously waterproof the stuff on the spaceship? That seems unnecessarily like paranoid or something. I mean, when are you ever going to need waterproofing on the retail systems in a starship? Aha! I'm not sure if that was a profit or not. I don't remember how many times I tried that. Not very many. So it was probably a profit. And there's a weapons terminal and a thingy and the door. I wonder if the door works. Uh, let me put the more blood implant and just grab these worms because they're health. Yay, free health. Well, I can open the door, but there's just a wall of flesh on the other side, so that's not actually useful. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's grab you. Oh, this is a research room. Okay, I'm just going to dump the research pieces in here, then. Because, you know, why not? If I need research, I know where to find it now. Actually, don't I still have the... Where'd it go? There it is. I need CS to finish that. So let me see if I can look around in here and see whether or not I can find any CS. Because I do actually have some research I need to do. I don't know what that... Aha! CS. There we go. So we can find out whether or not the uh, thing that I picked up is actually useful for anything. Oh, that's just another way out. Okay. I saw a thingy on that other side and I was like, oh, I need HS now. All right. Is there any HS in here? I think there is. I think I picked up some of that. In that other room, actually. Uh, let's see. T-E-T-Y. HS. Aha! HS. I was pretty sure there was someone here in here somewhere. Alright, what else do I need for this research, if anything? No, nope, that's it. So let's get the heck out of here. Let our research programs do, this, do its thing. 
Um, I guess we're going back to following these giant tendrils of nervous system. We already shot one of the two, one of the clusters out, so... I don't know how many clusters there actually are. Alright, so this one definitely goes this way. Is that how I come, came in here? Yeah, that's how I came in here, okay. Let me put down another save point. Sorry for saving so much, it's just that there are no respawn points in here. Alright, and one of them definitely leads down here into this area, which I really don't like because this is an area full of horrible things. Mostly radiation, which sucks. And I don't have anything for radiation shielding. Alright, let me just not bother looting anything in here. I'm just going to follow the nerve as best I can. And say screw that. I'm not going to bother even looting anything if I can avoid it. The only thing in here that I would really want to loot is the healing item. Okay, it's this side that leads to where I want to go. Her coldness is not welcome. This way, and here. And up this way. Thankfully, I don't need to breathe, it seems. And now what? Now where am I going? Oh, this way, okay. And over here. And there's the worm thing I'm looking for. You tear our very flesh. With no thought of compassion. compassion. Do you think we will sit idly by? While you corrupt the very room of our existence. Um, well, I'm kind of hoping you will. I mean, I don't really think you will. That would be kind of stupid on your part, but, you know, I can always hope. Alright, let's get the heck out of here before I die of radiation. Uh, use one of you, because I don't want to die of radiation, and I am still taking radiation damage. But quit getting stuck on chairs! Stupid chairs, you're killing me! Lethal chairs! Well, okay, the chairs aren't lethal, but the, the surroundings definitely are. Alright, I'm not going to bother wasting a really anti-rad item, because I'm going to take, like, one more damage off of it. And I think this should have opened this thing now, right? Yes, it has! Huzzah! How's the research on this going? Oh, it's finished. Okay. Summary. While this implant is powered, the user takes no damage from analyte toxin and will regenerate one hit point per 30 seconds. Unfortunately, when the implant caught ceases being powered or is removed, a great deal of toxin is released into the user's bloodstream. Make sure you have some antitoxin hypos handy. Analysis. This implant is a combination of a blood filtering device and a regenerative stimulator using analyte regenerative tissue as an adjunct. While the implant is worn, it sequesters all analyte venom that the user is subjected to, preventing it from acting. Additionally, damaged tissue is replaced quickly by a psychocreative analyte substitute. However, the substitute tissue produces some amount of degradation by the product, when the, it, it, when it is, which is itself toxic and sequestered by the implant. However, when the implant loses power or is removed, much of the sequestered venom is released. Recommendation. This device is not recommended for frequent use because of the danger of the toxic damage upon removing the implant. However, its regenerative and toxin-producing protection qualities, properties may well be invaluable in a very dangerous situation. So I may well end up using that. I do have like 12 portable batteries, and I'm not using the power armor right now, so... Oh, I still have that. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, so I may actually end up using that. I'm not sure yet. Let me throw down another save here. And... We will continue in a moment, I think. Actually, this, I think, makes a pretty good place to stop for the day. So, thank you for joining me. I've been Alicia. This has been System Shock 2. I hope everybody enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed playing it so far. I'll see you guys next time when we continue on our journey through the mini.